G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Creation Club Anti-Material Rifle. So this overpriced standalone weapon is one that uses the hunting rifle animations and is fairly customizable. Right now what you're looking at is maybe half the weapon I'd expect it to be, but don't worry, I'll fix that up real soon because this has actually got a fairly decent amount of customization on it. So first of all, they will be firing the 50, um, BMGs obviously and the best you can do with this is the powerful or the calibrated powerful receiver I'm not seeing any advanced receivers there. So it's basically going to be following the um, Hunting rifles way except the advanced receiver for the hunting rifle in the vanilla game is a caliber conversion And you can't really go higher than 50 BMGs it's worth mentioning. There's also a 38 receiver there, which is um Interesting. I don't know why you want to do that. I'll just have a look whilst we're looking at the card here. Look at that abysmal fire rate. We're going to have to get a nice um, upgrade on that. And don't worry, it will come. Now for the barrels, there we go. For We can get a long barrel there for better range and accuracy. And we can do a little bit better even with the encased barrel, which uh, looks all new. If you want to keep the sort of original look of the anti-material rifle barrel, then that one will be better. But this one gives us slightly more accuracy. We'll go for stats and numbers on this one. And for the stocks, we've got full stock, which is there, marksman stock, which will increase the recoil control a little bit. Marksman's light stock is a little bit better because it takes some of the weight out, which is pretty neat. Now, for the magazines, we've got a small magazine, the medium one is standard, and the large magazine. It will slow down your reload speed a little bit, but that should be fine. And for the sights, right now we've got um, iron sights, which are there. And, um, yeah, I want to have a look through them, so we'll get definitely have a anti-material rifle with iron sights. But for this one, we want to chuck a nice scope on it. So we'll go for a short scope there, because, yeah, generally I do like using short scopes better. And for the muzzles, we'll definitely put a suppressor on. That'll increase our damage ever so slightly, so now it's a little bit more tolerable. And to speed the um, fire rate of this thing, you can actually have a custom bolt installed, which makes it like one of those straight pull bolts. You can see there it changes a little bit, which is kind of nice. And of course, a legendary effect is there if necessary. And judging by the base damage and fire rate, we may actually need it. Oh boy. All right, we'll go ahead and um, see what this thing can do then. Actually, no, before we get into Gunners Plaza, I just want to test something. Now, one of the major questions when I first learned about the Creation Club anti-material rifle is, is this thing going to outperform, you know, the standard hunting rifle with the 50 cal receiver? Because you all know my thoughts on that, and if you don't, it's fucking shit. Now, we'll go ahead and uh, just look at the weapon cards in our little menu here. We can tell that this thing does 241 damage, that is, with a 50 cal receiver and boosted with Ace Operator. So it's it's terrible, but uh, you can improve it with my legendary effects. Go download them. But yeah, no good. Don't use that. And with this one, we get slightly more damage. But look at the fire rate. Three versus four. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but... Oh. I'm just going to bash my head into the desk until this makes sense. I'll be right back. Right, here we are in Gunners Plaza with our overpriced anti-material rifle, and of course there is a little bit of tape on there because, you know, that's his thing, sure, he can have that little meme to himself, I don't really think it's funny, but yeah, that's a thing, so that's what we look like in third person, there's a little bit of um, hand, hover handing going on there, but nothing too bad, the animations line up pretty good there, I'm impressed that they got the pistol grip to work because that was one of the things that was interesting about this thing, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get stuck into some gunners, and we're gonna have to play this low and slow, because this thing is low, and it is also slow, would you believe? What? We didn't one-shot that person with a 50 BMG, but we got it. We got him two-shotted, so I guess that's good. Maybe we have to be accurate. We're just too much of a noob, and we have to actually... There we go. Now that we're nice and accurate... Oh, bugger off turrets, I'm trying to friggin' aim. I'm gonna blame this on turrets, so you all... Okay, this is fucking annoying. Stop that right now, Jesus Christ. Oh, we can't one-shot a turret. They're, they're, that's a Mark II, Mark III, sorry. That one's a Mark I, so it'll go down to basically anything. So, let's go ahead and try to shoot these guys. Hmm, good shot, me. And, uh, it's the weapon's fault. There we go. Knocked you down with a little bit of, um, sniper knockdown there. 157 damage hitting him with the BMGs there. I don't know, it makes sense for realism, I guess. Oh, boy. 
Okay, we finally dropped that person. Very good. And we'll just um, shoot this turret twice. Okay, this thing fucking sucks. I don't need to explain this much more than that. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, move into vats now because why not? It'll compensate for my terrible aim. That one's only going to private sugar down very easily. But I think to make this weapon actually good, we're going to have to treat it like a hunting rifle and make sure we're sneaking at all times. I should have brought a stealth boy, to be honest. Okay, we're back into caution, back into sneak attack critical territory. And yeah, I think that's and sneak attack crit spammery is what going to make this thing good. So if you're not playing on very hard, it might be good otherwise, but even then it's still fucking lame. If I shoot someone with a head with a 50 caliber bullet, and they, yeah, they may get thrown around like that, but they wouldn't have a head. Also, it glitched out of vats. That's, that's fun. Okay. So, a little bit of bark and no bite from the anti-material rifle so far. I think the um, short scope is a little bit too cumbersome for the confines of Gunners Plaza. So, we'll move on to just the iron sights here because I said I wanted to test them out. And indeed, I will. So, that's just a gunner private. Doesn't matter where we hit her, we'll probably kill her. No, we'll just do 101 damage. No, 131 damage with a chest shot. Go to the second time, though. That's what counts, right? We'll just turn on the fans because I've noticed thing this game's chugging along now. And while I do that, I'm going to switch over to my Vats 1 short barrel with a reflex sight and no stock. And as you can tell there, we can absolutely get this thing going in Vats there. There are so many shots you can get out of that. And it's going to take a while to take down Captain Bridget there. So I'm just going to um, grab my phone, scroll through my Facebook feed, laugh at some funny memes that come along, get annoyed at the occasional um, garbage of the political variety, and we'll move on from that. We'll go ahead and try to snipe these guys without being spotted. I'd like to um, also point out that this thing is just... It's slow. It's even slower than the regular hunting rifle, and it doesn't help with these animations. Okay, we're going to need something a little bit more um, potent than this. This is absolutely sucking. There we go. There's a nice little headshot for 1,300 damage. So if you can reel in those headshots... Oh, that was a delayed reaction to your death. Yes, if you can reel in the headshots and with the sneak attack criticals, you can do pretty well there. That's one dead gunner with a pleb gorse rifle. Only plebs have the non-creation club gorse rifle. Okay. So going over this thing, mm, it's not great, is it? I'm pretty sure everyone in the audience right now, everyone watching at this point, is rolling their eyes. I should probably just drop this gun and start beating people to death with my own fist using um, vits, uh, vats and blitz. Um, I almost got <laughs> almost got them confused for a second. Okay, we'll switch over back to our scoped one for this, and we'll get a nice MLG no scope on this guy. Hmm. I'm guessing hit markers cause COD players to rage, because that means it doesn't kill them. I'm feeling that rage, but I'm channeling it in a different way. It's all sort of building up, I think. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really mad, just disappointed. But the good thing about playing on PC is I have um, access to the creation kit. So you know I'm going to be tweaking some numbers after I'm done recording this nonsense. And I'll also release the patch for all platforms too because this is embarrassing. I look at the hunting, the, sorry, the anti-material rifle in Fallout 4. It's one of the top end game weapons. You always take one of those bad boys in to loan some road with you. Oh, you've got one too, by the way. I like how all of the, oh wait, that's a moss in the gun. Never mind. I was going to comment on how they gave the basic gun of the anti-material rifle because even the NPCs know it's terrible. But no, it doesn't quite work like that. I'd imagine after you complete the quest, it'll start spawning in the overworld like normal. Also, you didn't see me somehow. It must have been my long black hair. That's sort of hard to see. So we'll just push you down the stairs with a little bit of sniper perk and wait a fortnight for this bolt to bloody crank. And down you go. We have finally cleared Gunners Plaza. I'll look at the time. It's been about an hour. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so this thing is pretty friggin' terrible. So, obviously, to make this thing good, we're gonna have to actually alter it with legendary effects before we actually, you know, tweak the numbers in creation kit. So, we'll move on to something else. Okay, so here we are with an anti-material rifle now with a muzzle break for our nostalgia's sake. And this thing's going to be doing three times damage, so... Hopefully a three times damage multiplier will improve this thing to a point where I'm not um, grinding my teeth to dust in frustration. Mmm, yes, I'm loving the one-shotting Super Mutant Warlord to death. Although that one didn't die because, um, obviously, yeah, it wasn't a sneak attack critical, but that follow-up one was. 
I'd like to say that the sounds are actually kind of nice. That's one of the things they did right for this thing. May not be entirely realistic, but at least it sounds better than the hunting rifle 50 cal thing. I think that works better on a pistol. That's why Bridget's pistol uses the 50 um, cal sounds that in my little mod there. But um, despite us being, you know, firing a massive 50 cal rifle, we've managed to not only keep ourselves hidden up until, you know, this point here well this bloke probably just sees us but um yeah yeah it's i don't know maybe it's not as loud as uh we think it is because these guys still can't see me okay we'll go for a cheeky uh that's critical there that's actually said we'd actually be able to beat that guy but that wasn't the case i don't think we can shoot through that no we can't but we should be able to because we're firing 50s Fallout 4, Todd Howard, what have you done? Okay, we'll quickly finish you up there with a little bit of a no-scope. The hipfire on this thing, obviously we've got all of the perks, which include the ones that actually make you um, a little bit more accurate with hipfire. So, yeah, that's nice. We'll go ahead and bash you to death. I think that's quicker than cranking the bolt back. Probably not, actually. I think we'll have to reload this thing. Probably didn't even need the reload either. That doggo can die in one, but now with the three times damage multiply, it's doing a little bit better. I generally like to have that um, attached to my hunting rifles for better damage, but yeah. I don't know. This thing seems a little bit too weak for what it is. I guess I'm expecting a little bit more because it was such a great weapon in Fallout New Vegas, but again... Um, Todd Howard has something against um, 50 cals because he puts it in a pistol and the hunting rifle makes him terrible and I don't know it's really baffling to me because you know the um, creation club gorse rifle the prototype cranking one that was actually a pretty good weapon when it comes down to it you could make use out of it sure it might be inferior in some situations than the regular gorse rifle is but what are you smiling at winter god damn it Okay, we'll go for the crit here, just... No, never mind, that's the second time it's glitched out of bats there. I'm not sure if that's a problem on my end. I think it might glitch out again, because the reloads aren't kind to this weapon. Yep, so make sure you've actually got this thing um, reloaded before you actually try to shoot somebody, otherwise, yeah, it won't work. So there we go, we've finally got the shot into him. But yeah, um, yeah, the Creation Club Gorse Rifle was semi-viable, it was pretty good. But this is just shit. I don't know what's happened here. I don't know whether this thing was balanced to be just a tiny little bit better than the um, hunting rifle 50 cal or just not balanced properly. I'm not sure who had the final say on how much damage this thing would do, but let me tell you, Captain Noob does not approve of this nonsense. Even with a 50 cal, ugh, with a three times damage multiplier, sorry, this thing just seems to lack a little bit. It's probably because I don't have a suppressor on it either. I'm guessing with a suppressor, it'd be slaying people left and right. But yeah, whatever. It's an improvement, but I probably need to do a little bit more to get this thing going. I'm going to look at the weapon card again for a second, just so you can get an idea of how much damage this thing does. Without the um, half damage uh, penalty you get in very hard, because that's certainly making this thing even worse. So we're doing 713 damage with that, so it's alright, that's like not even what you'd get with a gorse rifle, so it's still inferior to that thing, so um, yeah, so I think I'll call it there for the anti-material rifle, another very, very disappointing weapon from the Creation Club, one that you pay real money for that isn't viable in the game unless you've got the thing modded, so um, if you can help it, I wouldn't suggest buying this, but if you're on PS4, yeah, get that because, you know, it's new content, new standalone content that you won't find with the crappy mods on your game. I'm sorry, it's just the facts. Don't get mad at me. But yeah, I'll definitely make a damage patch for this. Maybe spruce it up with a little bit more upgrades if I can think of them. But yeah, that's about it for the anti-material rifle. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Ugh. How do you even outro a weapon like that? That was awful. I don't think I've ever had more of a problem with a weapon there. Bloody hell. Alright, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.